So hi there. So this is a little behind the scenes. Um, looks a little bit, a little bit different around here. This all started a little more than a month ago, the end of November. I had to take down a lot of the work that was hanging on the walls to hang in my show. And a lot of the little ones, I had little ones like all over the place and sitting on top of um, countertops and whatever. Oh my God, how did I even like come in here and work with that clutter? So I'm, I'm one of those people I've got to have a somewhat neat workspace. I'm not, I'm not a neat person. I have to really work at it. But when I let things get out of control or when I start with things out of control, I'm just, so ever since I moved in here, which is almost a year ago, I have been uncomfortable in this space. I still hate the wall color, still thinking about painting a wall or two, <laughs> like these two walls here. But anyway, I started per, well, first of all, when the work came down, I was like, wow, I can breathe in here now. I don't have a window. So it's a little challenging to make the room cozy. It's still not what I would call cozy, but it's better. I was going to put a rug down, but that does not work. I have some things on wheels. I like to have furniture on wheels because sometimes you need to move things around. And I do have an Alex unit, an Alex drawer unit that's I'm sitting at a desk. It's right below my desk. And I had these little handles put on the side. So I can just pull it out alongside my desk, like make an L. So when I'm shooting videos, I have access to my paper. I have a countertop to lay things on as I finish them. And everything is like handy for me. My Calyx unit is also right to the, it'll be behind the cabinet, but it's still close enough that I can get at things should I need them. And my trash can is just to the left. Absolute necessity must have my trash can. So um, I'm going to give you a little tour of the room with a voiceover and then we will um, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to start with the before. So this is when I still had all of this artwork up on the walls and all over the counter spaces. You know, and as I'm still creating artwork, where am I going to put it? I'm just going to keep cluttering up my spaces. I don't think that's a great idea. But I had, you know, two Calyx units. This one was supposed to have camera gear at the top, gessos and grounds, mediums. The two on the right I'm still going to keep, but the camera gear is going to be swapped out for more personal items. I need a place to put things like, uh, you know, hairbrushes and stuff. But anyway, my papers are also stored here. And I was just keeping too much stuff here. So I did get a small storage unit where I am moving some of the artwork and also some of the materials that I don't have to have here all the time. So I used to stand in front of this uh, Calyx unit and so I would try to keep the area behind it a little bit neater but it still had way too much stuff on it. And then I had, you know, artwork really close together. It was like the walls were covered with artwork. This big one on the left was just leaning up on the end of my desk. And my desk would always end up just a, um, a dumping ground. In the corner, as you could see, is a, it, well, right now it's actually kind of neat, but underneath I would, anything I didn't really need would just get thrown under there. And that's still clutter. That's still stuff that's in the way. And this big, big desk was just a dumping ground. Like I, that's where I would just put things just to get them out of the way. Of course, my easel was then in the middle of the room, my camera in the middle of the room. And that corner was where I was storing paintings. And I, it was just a mess. I could never get at the monitor when I needed it. I would use the monitor to, you know, mirror the camera onto it so I can actually see, you know, if I'm on camera properly or not. Th this was just not working. It was just too cluttered. I had work above my workspace. 
alongside of my workspace and I was using my taller unit completely open to, to video and I'd have to be on my feet standing through the whole process. So I'd be standing almost the entire time I was at the studio and by the end of the day I was exhausted. The good thing about this was that unit has a drawer on the top where I could keep a lot of my you know, supplies on hand, especially for collage. Not so much for jelly printing, but for the collage, they were like very handy. But I can live without that. So I also have a bobby unit. I've had this tabaret, wow, since I lived in New York. It's many, many, many years, and I do still love it. It's just not as um, efficient as it maybe can be. And then I did buy this thing from Ikea, and I am keeping that. But my papers, as you could see, that top rice paper, it doesn't fit. But this is where I keep my jelly prints. So I'm still going to keep that, but you're going to see I move it. My deli papers also don't fit. I had glassine papers that I don't even like. I don't even know why I'm keeping them. But it's a good unit if you have a lot of papers. And my copy paper is down at the bottom. But as you could see, all of my surfaces were just always cluttered with things. And, you know, not all my bottles fit in that. My paints, were, this was good for my tube paints because they, um, they all fit in there. But then I have jars, empty jars, because I like to mix paint. I have other things like pastels, oil pastels, twine. That's like the junk drawer, if you know what I mean. And then, you know, I had all kinds of other things like gold leaf, copper leaf, exhibition stuff. This is all stuff that probably should keep in the studio, but this just looks messy to me. I can't stand how, you know, this always looks terrible. So this is what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to try to get rid of some of the things that are in here that don't have to be here. And I'm going to try to make this look a little bit better. And this is even my projector, which I do have to have here. And then next to this Calyx unit, between that and the door, I have my Alex unit, which I don't think I really show you here, but I use the top of it uh, for my teapot and for my cleaning supplies and for my brayer station where I soak my brayers. Um, this actually is looking neater than it usually is and um, it can suddenly turn really bad really quick so and there's a better use for the Alex drawers don't you think so anyway and then above that more artwork was on the walls so once that all came down wow um, anyway here's a overview of how how terrible it looked and this was on a good day so this video is after I cleaned up um, it never looked this good. So starting in the same spot, this is the, the new uh, space. And uh, I did remove a lot of the small artwork. I did still want to leave some on the walls because this is still going to be behind me when I'm talking on camera. But I'm still keeping things that I need to use and that I am inspired by. So these two, the board book and that little um, collage are two like that really uh, inspire me. As you can see, I have room to grow. I now have a place to put my purse and get it up off the floor. I have my easel now tucked in the corner. And I'm still going to take down some more artwork. Like That painting behind the easel is going to go into the storage space as well. And I'm going to rework some of these. I might keep some in here so that if I do have a visitor, they have something to look at. This unit is now, I'm keeping it closed, but when I'm going to be working at the easel, I can open it up and it'll be a nice large tabaret for my palettes, my paints, my brushes, everything that I need to use when I'm working on the painting. In the corner, I got myself a pantry unit with a drawer in the middle. And this is where I can just take all of those like things that were in the Calyx unit that were just looking cluttered and I can tuck them away in this cabinet. 
and then this is now where my workstation is for video and as you can see I'm making like an L shape and here's my unit again my Alex drawers with all of everything that I need for working in collage and jelly printing I have some brayers soaking over on top of the um, big tabaret and I also this is where I keep my my brushes I could also pull that over so I can on have that to the left of the easel when I'm working and then just roll it back over into its spot later so I have a laptop computer that I really wanted attached to the monitor. I wanted that monitor to do double duty. And I also wanted it to mirror my iPhone that I record on while during my recording so I can see whether I'm off camera or not. So that, and I can just pull my keyboard over and my mouse and then I can actually use it as a computer. So this is great. I can just tuck it all back into this corner unit of the calyx and get my keyboard and my mouse out of the way and what worked over here I'm keeping I really I've, I've had those bottles in that type of container for a very long time and it works my Nova paints are now in this container and this one has all my scraps every color imaginable and a scrap my bottled Nova paints are down below and then I have this unit here that has water in a spray bottle, alcohol in a spray bottle, tacky spray. Um, this is matte finish that seals my prints. And, you know, these are just, they fit perfectly and they're tucked away. And then down below, I have the things that I don't use quite as often, my smaller bottles of fluid paint. And way down at the bottom is my junk drawer. I still wanted to have those there. I need twine sometimes. I now have a place where I'm going to be keeping wood panels that I haven't used yet and some other additional things down below. I tucked one, my paper uh, thing from Ikea into one of the cubbies and I'm still using it to store my gel plates like my little six inch one is here now. And I still have the copy paper at the bottom. But the deli paper and the rice paper do not fit in there. So they are going in the top drawer of my Alex unit so that when it is alongside of me, I can easily reach for them. So this is what I use to actually put my camera in. This is called a canvas light. I think it's shopcanvas.co. I'm not sure. I will put the link below. But I, I actually, it mounts on the desk, but I had it mounted to the wall. And I'll put that bracket that I bought from uh, Amazon that this also fits into. And I put that over there. I also moved the right-hand light off to the right a little bit to give me a little bit more space. And now here's my pantry unit. I love the way all this stuff is tucked away. I still have to have it here, paper towels, all that. Um, trash bags, uh, camera equipment. These are my circle cutters and glue sticks, pen additional pencils, things like that, packing tape. And then uh, my, my leaf and stuff like that is all down here on the bottom. And, and additional watercolor pads and things like that. So I really wish I had a whole wall of these things, but there isn't enough space in this room. And I hung this like shower curtain, it's a, it's a canvas shower curtain, on the wall to protect it from paint spatters because I was getting paint all over the wall. And as you can see, I hung a ring light from the ceiling for when I'm standing up and talking on camera. And so this is a much, much better situation. On my desk, because the desk is so deep, I'm able to do this and not have it on camera. And it's all those things that I need really close at hand. And my lights are on remote control, so I can just turn them off at the same time, turn them back on. It's, it's a fantastic thing. And I like to, now I have a space for my remote, and I'm not always like looking for it, because I used to constantly lose it. So I'm just going to 
tuck it in right there. I keep my little um, microphone in that little wooden bowl and my earbuds for my laptop. Okay, so I don't know. Is it any better? I think it is. Um, I, I wanted you to see the before, before I showed you the finish, because although the finish is not perfect yet, it is like so far away from where it was. And uh, as a matter of fact, my next door neighbor was here a few minutes ago and the door was open because I was sweeping. And he said to me, oh my God, it looks great. <laughs> so that was really good to hear. And um, anyway, we'll see. I am still trying to, you know, source things online to get a little bit more organizational stuff. So I'm a strong believer in is if everything has a place, then it's easy to keep things organized because you don't walk around with it in your hand wondering where you're going to put it. Like if you know where it goes, you just go and you put it there. Um, now, of course, with paper, you, we all know it gets out of hand, but my boxes aren't even like anywhere near full yet. And I've been making papers for a year. Of course, I've been using papers too, but... Um, they don't take up that much space, I don't think. And when I get to that point, I'll purge. If I haven't used a paper in a year, I'm probably never going to use it. So, and maybe I'll start putting paper packs together or something. I don't know. I'll have to do something with them eventually if I'm not collaging with them. Anyway, I just wanted to share my new space with you. And, um, you know, if I can just get the Wi-Fi fixed, right? Anyway, I will... Uh, see you all soon. Take care. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And I'll, I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.